Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Getting Started with the SAM100 System Amplifier. In this short presentation, we'll explain the basic configuration and operation of the Rodian Schwartz SAM100 System Amplifier. Let's start with a brief overview of the SAM100. The SAM100 System Amplifier is a compact modular amplifier with a frequency range of 2 to 20 gigahertz and output power of up to 20 watts. Common applications for the SAM include amplifying the output signals of test and measurement devices, such as signal generators or wireless communication testers, various aspects of EMC testing, such as testing shielding effectiveness, compensating for system or cable attenuation, and general broadband amplification. The SAM100 can be used either as a standalone device, or it can be mounted in either a standard 19-inch rack or pixie frame. As we'll see in this presentation, the SAM is very easy to set up and operate. It's also easily integrated into automated test environments, and land-based control, as well as a forward sampling port, are available as options. The SAM100 is powered by an external AC to DC power supply unit that's connected to the front panel of the SAM. This power supply unit supports input voltages of 100 to 240 volts at either 50 or 60 hertz. Note that only the power supply unit supplied with the SAM100 should be used for power. The RF input of the SAM100 is located on the rear panel. The SAM100 has a patented plug-in system for the input and output connectors and allows a choice between 2.92 or 3.5 millimeter plugs. These adapters are also sacrificial. That is, if a plug becomes worn or damaged, it can be easily exchanged in the field by the user. The same type of adapter is used for the RF output on the front of the SAM100. As mentioned earlier, the AC to DC power supply is connected to the front of the SAM as well. In addition to the on-off switch, the front of the SAM100 has two status LEDs, as well as a digital connector for control and monitoring. Let's take a closer look at the status LEDs and the digital connector. The two LEDs on the front of the SAM are labeled RF and Ready. These can be illuminated either green or yellow and indicate different states or events as shown in the table. For example, if the interlock is open, the RF LED will flash yellow. Note that a smaller printed version of this table can also be found on the SAM100 itself, usually on the rear panel. Next, let's discuss the digital interface, which is implemented as a 9-pin D-sub mail connector on the front of the SAM100. This interface allows the SAM to be integrated into automated test systems. The pins on this interface provide many different functions, for example, two of the pins create an interlock loop that prevents the amplifier from being operated under unsafe conditions. If the interlock is closed, RF output is enabled. But if the interlock is open, the SAM100 disables the RF output. The pins on the control interface fall into two categories. Control pins, which are used to control the behavior of the amplifier, and indicator pins, which signal various events or states. Let's take a quick walk through these pins. We'll start with the control pins. Pins 1 and 6 are used to implement the interlock function we mentioned on the previous slide. This must be a closed loop for the SAM100 to operate, and in the absence of an external interlock, a simple dummy plug can be used to allow operation. Pin 2 is for external power off. A 5-volt pulse applied to this pin, relative to ground, will toggle the SAM100 between ready mode and off. Jump ring pin 3 to ground enables automatic on. This causes the SAM to be switched on automatically following a power interruption. Pin 9 is used for the mute function. A rising edge on this pin will switch the SAM on, and a falling edge will switch the SAM off. There are also three indicator pins. Pin 4 indicates that the amplifier is ready. Pin 7 indicates a fault or error. And pin 8 signals that the interlock loop is open. 
Please see the SAM100 documentation for more details on how these pins are used. Let's end with a brief summary. The Rodian Schwartz SAM100 system amplifier operates over a frequency range of 2 to 20 GHz with a maximum output power of 20 watts. It's suitable for a wide range of applications and can be used either as a standalone device or can be integrated into a standard 19-inch rack or Pixie chassis. Setting up the SAM100 is very simple. No software or configuration via a user interface is required. The amplifier is powered from an external AC-connected power supply unit. Both the RF input and output can have either 2.92mm or 3.5mm connectors, and these are easily field replaceable by the user. A pair of LEDs on the front panel indicate status and or false, and a 9-pin digital interface provides functions such as interlock, mute, and status reporting, thus enabling the SAM100 to be integrated into automated test environments. This concludes our presentation, getting started with the SAM100 system amplifier. If you'd like more information about the SAM100, other Rodian Schwartz amplifiers, or amplifiers in general, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.